please tell me your views on pelican crossing? Well, I think it's terrible, really, because you get halfway across it, and then the traffic comes right down. It doesn't give you long enough time to get across. The cross is all right if the locust use it properly, but he doesn't give people the time to get over before he goes. He shouldn't go when the light screens. If I were to give you my views in plain language, you wouldn't publish it. Well, please try. They are a waste of money, they are a waste of time. They're damn foolish, the only damn good they have done is for children to laugh at the little green men. Well, the flashing of the green man, yeah, goes bit, 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 and don't give us time to get across the road. The idea is good if we have more time to cross the road. Well, very good. If people uh, use them properly, um, I think for the elderly and even the animals, it doesn't give them any time at all to get across the road. I think they're very, very useful. I don't know what we'd do without them. I think they're very useful. Well, I think you need more time, you know, when you get on the crossing, you have to hurry too much, you know, and for the old people, they can't get along fast enough. I think they're very useful. Do you use them a lot? Uh, occasionally. Do you remember to press the button? Always. Well, I think they're very good, but there's a lack of understanding about how to use them, especially when it's the elderly. So much confusion. So many differing opinions about a simple crossing aid. Pelican crossings have been designed for places where there are lots of pedestrians and traffic. But where central crossings and traffic lights wouldn't be the answer to the problem of helping pedestrians to cross roads safely. The Pelican is a crossing where you as a pedestrian can stop the traffic with just one finger, simply by pressing the button. After a short wait, the traffic will be made to stop. Then the green man will appear on the light facing you across the road. This means cross now with care. And if the green man starts to flash on and off while you're crossing the road, don't worry, you've still got time to complete your crossing safely. And you do have priority, but keep an eye on that waiting traffic. But remember, it's up to you. At Pelican Crossings, you must press the button to make those lights work. Well, I, for years I've seen these things, and I really haven't had faith that pressing the button would do any good. Of course, as you saw at the start of this film, there's bound to be confusion and some doubts about such a crossing, especially amongst you senior citizens, because many of you will remember times when crossing roads was easy. You just had to keep an eye or ear open for the occasional horse to come. Those days are over. Now there are more than 17 million vehicles on the road, so crossing them calls for much greater care. Now the authorities are doing all they can to help you cross roads safely by putting safe crossing places wherever it's possible. But it's up to you to use them and use them correctly. Now, one of the most frequent complaints made against peloton crossings is that they don't allow people enough time to cross. And then again, there's this confusion. When people are crossing, and the green man starts to flash on and off, many think that the lights will change immediately, and that the waiting traffic will surge forward and run them down. Oh, let's just see how someone you all know very well uses a peloton crossing. <laughs>
Mr. Chancellor, what on earth were you doing? When? What's that? Oh, I'm the cutting you mean? Yes. Well, I wanted to cross the road, you see, sir. So I, I know you did not. <laughs> I went to press the button, you see, and I did that, and it said, wait, and then I saw the green man come on, and I started a cotton in the new usual manner, sir, and then that green man, he started flapping, and I didn't know, you know, I, I, I got in a bit of a panic, and I didn't, and then I thought the bloody great lorry was going to come, so I'm, I, I got in a bit of a muddle, you see. But there wasn't any need to panic, was there? You see, even if the green man does start to flash on off while you're crossing, don't worry, because you've still got time to complete your crossing in safety, as long as you keep an eye on the traffic as you cross. Now, is that quite clear? Oh, yes, thank you very much, and obey your instructions to the letter, sir. You haven't got a peppermint on you, have uh, you? Yes. No, thanks, I don't like them much. They make me deaf, you know. <laughs> I'll do what you said. There you are, no problem at all, even with old Jenny. If that green man does start to flash on and off while you're crossing, don't worry. You still have time to complete your crossing in safety, but uh, keep an eye on the traffic as you cross. But remember, never, never start to cross when that green man is already flashing on and off. Telephone and crossings are there to help you cross roads safely. Please use them, but use them correctly. Carry on keeping up with journey. <coughs> when you're past 60, crossing roads need more care. Lorries and motor cars flash past everywhere. Pelican crossings are there to bring you cheer. Just press the button to cross without fear. When you're crossing the road, if the green man starts flashing, don't panic. Just keep on steadily the other side of the road, and you'll be all right. <laughs> Where's the pub? Well, I pressed the button in very short time. They certainly went green, and now you've taught me a lesson. And 